Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. Today, we are going to share a very, very beautiful topic with you, which is, of course, the pricing of USD INR range forwards and that to the current pricing. We all understand that rupee is moving in a very volatile way. Like few week, few weeks ago, it went to almost 68, 60, and now it is trading at approximately 67.22. And there are a lot of exporters, I know those those who not hedged at that level and there are also a lot of importers who not hedged. So at that moment of time it was an exporter game and today it's an importer game. But nonetheless, the purpose of the video is to introduce you the two kind of range forward contracts. I'm not talking about range forward exporters and range forward importers. Today we are going to cover range forward exporters but in a two different way. So we are going to cover add the money spot and add the money forward. Right, the pricing has been computing using Thomson Reuters pricer. Now, before to initiate the video, I would like to take you to the to a small example or a small demonstration of what do you mean by add the money spot and what do you mean by add the money forward. Now, take a very small example. Support the spot price is moving 67.22, which we mentioned here as well. And we are taking an example of one year. So I'm writing here again, which is one year. And suppose the one year premium is trading at 5 rupees. So the outright rate, outright rate would be 72.22 for exporter because we are taking an example of an exporter. So if today an exporter book a forward contract for one year down the line, so one year I'm writing here one year forward, then he would be getting the rate, then he would be getting the rate 72.22. Now one thing to show here, now what is this 72.12? This 72.22 is at the money forward. This is at the money forward. Now what do you mean by at the money forward? I am repeating again. At the money forward is equals to spot rate plus premium. Now there is another concept in range forward, although there are a lot of companies who are doing this and there are few companies and, and of course being a corporate treasurer I never do that. This is add the money spot. Now what this add the money spot is all about? Add the money spot is the current spot price. So there are two ways of pricing a range forward contract. One way of pricing a range forward contract is to price via add the money forward. And second way of pricing a range forward contract is to buy at the money spot. So this we are taking the both. Now here we have taken the spot rate 67.22 and here you can clearly see that we had taken at the money spot. Now at the money spot we had taken. Now this is buy put and sell call. Now it is range forward just two three minutes. Range forward is nothing but a financial derivative which assist an exporter or an importer. Although in this video we are talking about an exporter which assist an exporter to sell his receivables covering both parts, which is downside and upside. Now range forward exporters would have two legs. One is buy put, another is sell call. Buy put means the you as a corporate who is selling your receivables is having the right to sell. So this is corporate leg. Sell call means the corporate is obliged to sell to a bank or bank is having right to buy from a corporate. So this is bank like. And in between we are having one thing which is market. So your downside which is this. Your upside which is this and your market all three are protected. So this is range forward exporter. If you go for range forward importer, you would have buy call and you would have sell put. But we are not talking about an importer position here. We are talking about an exporter position here. So here we are taking an example of add the money spot and add the money forward. I will cover one by one. The first I am going to cover add the money spot. Now add the money spot, I have taken 67.22 as the buy put rate. Of course, the sell call would be higher, which is 78.60. Remember the fact carefully, I am writing here again, for a buy put, you will pay a premium. Hence for that I am writing, in sell call, you would receive the premium. Now, as for the Reserve Bank of India guidelines, as a corporate, you cannot receive the premium. So you have to do backtrack. 
Now, what do you mean by backtrack? You will not receive the premium, but you will add this premium in your in your strike price. So you will amend your strike price. So you but but on paper you will not receive the premium. Now in this we have taken at the money spot at 67.22 and we have which is a buy put contract which you can see here BP and in a sell call we have taken 78.60 right so if now write it here again 67.22 and 78.60 and this is a one year contract remember so one year and remember the fact I need not to tell again that options are going to be matured via Tokyo cut. Now, what do you mean by Tokyo Cut? You can refer our YouTube channel, and in the YouTube channel, there is a video which is Tokyo Cut video. How the settlement of option contract using Tokyo Cut, right? So suppose just two days before the Tokyo Cut published at 66, you would have a right to sell at 67.22. You would exercise that. Bank is having a right to buy from you at 78.60. Would bank buy? Definitely not. So you are here. Suppose the Tokyo got published at 68, you are having right to sell at 67.22, would you sell if market is at 68? Surely not. Would bank buy from you if he is having a right to buy at 78.60? Definitely not. So you are here, which is market. Suppose the Tokyo got published 80. Now this Tokyo got is nothing but 11.30 am USD INR fixing which may be near to near to spot which might not be near to pro spot and please be note that Tokyo got vary from bank to bank so if you take five foreign banks and these five foreign bank may differ on one pesa and two pesa here and zero here and there when it comes to the Tokyo cut now in this now in this video now suppose it is published 80 would you sell at 80 67 22 no would a bank buy surely now you would have a loss of approximately one rupee 40 pesa here this is at the money spot. Now if you book a forward contract, you would get a rate of 72. But if you do this at the money spot, you would get a rate of 78.60. I know there are a lot of people who are watching the video would comment that what is the probability that INR would depreciate. But if we take this into serious consideration, we see the economic issues which are happening around the globe. Oil is at approximately 40 now. There are a lot of war-like situations between several countries, a lot of dialogues which are happening. India also as an economy is facing little issues when it comes to the when it comes to the sinking with the global world. So although the government and Reserve Bank is trying very well to make sure issues would get resolved, but they of course need some time and effort for that. So there is a very big probability that INR would head towards 75, 76 in near term. So as a treasurer and a trader, I request people not to book via forward contract, buy via range forward contract. And you have two options. One option is add the money spot, which I explained. And in add the money spot, the current pricing is 67.22 to 78.60. Another is add the money forward. If you do the add the money forward, the semantics remains the same. But what I did, I said, I took half implied walls away. Now one year implied walls is approximately 10% and I took half implied walls so which is approximately 5%. So what I did I took the pricing when I said to my pricer that add the money forward which I am getting roughly 72.22 go back and take this half implied wall away. In the half implied wall away the price would come at 67.10 to 82.50 now if you carefully see here the buy the sell call is higher than the sell call of at the money spot so that you are getting a high, higher protection i understand that there are a lot of people who would continue to say that you know there is a little probability that iron would touch 80 and so on and so forth but 